Hey guys, David here from Doscomp, and in this video I wanted to show you a really easy way on how to create your own custom whoosh sound using Serum. All right. So first let's get rid of that oscillator since we will just work with the noise patch in here. Um, and yeah, let's find a nice, nice full and rich sounding noise patch as also the whoosh will sound thicker we use the bigger one, so let's see. All right, this one sounds quite nice. Ne next, let's uh, shape our LFO. Um, and normally, normally, whoosh sounds, they start with a low, low level on volume, and then there's a peak moment where they reach the high, the high peak of the volume, and then it kind of falls off again. It's like a car passing passing by. And the more far away it is, the lower the volume is. So it starts with a low volume, ends with a low volume, but there's a peak point where it reaches the maximum level of volume. We do the same with the pitch as well. And now we're just gonna add some filtering to it. Get some movement in there. This sounds almost like a wave from an ocean. Now let's create a second LFO, doing a kind of similar shape with a um, longer release tail. And yeah, I'm also using the trigger button here, so it always starts over from the beginning. And now just getting some panning animation in here, so the sound comes from left to right. always just experiment and increase the vol uh, values here if you like. Um, next let's just uh, add some effects to it to make it a bit thicker and just add some weight to the whoosh using hyper here. Now let's add some distortion as well. You can also just animate any of these any of these buttons here, parameters. Some flanger as well. I'm actually just experimenting here, and just seeing what works, what fits, um, since I have not a really clear vision of what I want, so I'm just trying everything out. That sounds quite good. Slowly getting there. Let's catch that one now. Let's add a compressor to just compress the signal a little bit, give it more weight. like the, all the high noise that added to this. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's turn this off for now. Some reverb. Yeah, that sounds quite nice, I think. Yeah, we can actually animate these ones as well. So, to get some more variation in that sound.
if you want a more subtle whoosh, you can just add a filter to it and add a cutoff. But for now, let's push that. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And yeah, I hope this video helped you out a bit. And we actually went ahead and created 50 custom whooshes, which work really well with trailers. So make sure to check that out. And you can also subscribe to our mailing list to get any more updates and also feature discounts. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.